Hello everyone, I'm Amita K. Rao, mentor at Skilllink, MCA with 13 years in teaching, here with you all today to go ahead and teach you this topic, serialization and deserialization in Java. What is serialization? In the most simplest form or in simple words, if I have to tell, when I talk Java, obviously there are ob classes and objects. So when I try to store an object in a file, that process is called serialization. Okay, there is this, for example, there is this object, student object, and there is the file abc.txt. I want to store this in this file, then the whole process is called serialization. Why is there a different word? This is not as simple as creating or copying content into a text file. Here, since I'm talking about objects, I am trying to store the state of an object into a file. Why, when I do this, when the state of an object gets stored in a file, then I, that file, I can transport it across the network from point A to point B. Why do I need a special process for doing this? In large applications at times, this the uh, transfer of data happens from one place on the network to the other, from one server to the other. That's when I require to serialize and on the other hand, deserialize the objects. Or say for instance, there is a game. In most of the games, there is somebody, there are lives. People get four lives, five lives. So imagine the game gets paused halfway through. There is a certain state there which I need to save because when the participant or whoever is there in that online game comes back and resumes the game, that life, whatever lives he has lost or gained or whatever, has to start from a certain point. That's when I will need this. But why is there a different process? Why is there a different name? Here, what happens is this student object itself is in Java supported format. It is an object. Okay. Well, as this, abc.txt, it is, or as, as you can see, it's a text file and it is in file supported format or rather when I have to move the object on the network, it has to be in network supported format. So the other definition what I could give for serialization is conversion of a Java supported, of an object in Java supported format to an object which goes into a file supported format or a network supported format. That is called serialization. Okay, here if I have to explain through this picture, here I have an object, I convert it to a byte stream, then store it onto a file or store it onto a database. This, the left half of your screen would easily explain what is serialization and the right half of the screen converting it back, okay, like uh, breaking down a puzzle and uh, creating it back or converting it back. So here I have the text file, here I have the database or the data, my object travels across on the network. I will have to reconstruct the object. This is deconstructed here and I reconstructed it there. This is called deserialization. The second half of this picture, the right half will tell you what is deserialization. The left half tells you what is serialization. And how do I go ahead and implement this serialization and deserialization in Java? The most important thing what I would require is this interface called serializable. This is a marker interface. Marker interface as we know is an empty interface and there are methods. I will have to write methods within it that can help me with the serialization. And we are dealing with files. So we need the file output stream. And there is an object that has to trans get transferred onto a file. Of, for that, I need the object output stream. To write something, we talk about output stream both the ways with the file and the object. And in the object output stream, I have a method called write object. There is object output stream dot write object. And here is the object name. The object that I'm trying to serialize is given here. This is how. So I will sum up again, we need the serializable interface. Since it is interface, I will have to write there implement serializable. Okay, and this S capital, we have the file output stream, the object output stream, 
and then within the object output stream i have the right object now coming to deserialization okay the reverse process of reconstructing the object that has been serialized is called deserialization again here again i will require the serializable interface now since i am reading from a file i am talking about file input from file input i will i will transfer the object to object input stream from the object input stream there to read the object i will use this method called read object object input stream dot read object and here i will write the object name object name equal to object input stream and read object this is how i would deserialize something so this is there is a small class here student class this is what i need to do implements serializable so when i don't write this then the jvm throws runtime error it says not serializable object or something like that so this is this is the way how it is done how this the code for this is written in java i will brief you all on that first thing can you note this uh, import statement all of them okay the serializable interface the file output stream the file input stream the object output stream object input stream are all part of this io package so we have to import the java.io.star here okay and then this is the student class the student class has two constructors this is the zero constructor here is the parameterized constructor and one small method called display to display the data here the student class has two variables instance variables there is one is rno stands for roll number and one is nam that stands for name rno is of type int and name is of type string now how do you serialize or deserialize this particular class now here is my class public class ser within that we have the public static void main and i am creating one object of the student class so s1 is the object of type student and here rno for s1 becomes 10 and name for s1 becomes anu r i have a simple system dot out here and i'm trying to display the data now look at these three statements first of all serialization means copying some value to a file i need a file so for me here let's say there is this file called mno.txt i am opening this file for writing that's when i would need a output stream right the output stream which i am dealing with here is the see the statement the file output stream fos foi is the name i have given is equal to new file output stream and i am giving the name of the file that is mno.txt this file output stream i am attaching to the object output stream i am attaching this to the object output stream why object output stream again because i am writing something through the object output stream into the file output stream and all i need to do is here we have the oos and i'm having oos dot write object please note this w r i t e o capital and then s1 is the object that is being written this s1 with these values 10 and anu r i'm trying to write the state of this object called s1 on to my file so when i execute this it's saying serializing and displaying the two values for me now if i look at this mno.txt i have this mno.txt can you see this student.demo and java string and all this values are there it's not in the complete readable form for me so if i want to read this in a proper way i will have to do the reverse process of serialization which is nothing but i will need to deserialize it okay the same process we follow i have the import statement i have this 
class that is implementing the serializable interface. Serializable interface, as I told you, is a marker interface. And the class looks the same, but the process is reversed now. What do I have here? I have the file input stream. Input stream for reading. Reading from the file, the same file I'm handling, mno.txt. Then I have the object input stream because what is written onto the file has to be converted to an object type. Okay, I have OIS here. I'm attaching this object input stream to the file input stream. And then this method. This is one of the methods in the object input stream, which is the read object OIS dot read object. Whatever is being read has to be converted to this particular object type. Object type is student for me and then storing into the, a new object called S2. And then there is a simple system.out.println and then we have s2.display. I will execute this. Can you see that? Deserializing. So, what I did with ser.java was write this s1 with these values onto a file called mno.txt. What am I doing here with the deser.java? I am reading the same stuff that I had written previously on to another object called S2 of type student and I am printing the details. And here is your mno.txt.